Hey guys, short and sharp for today's English video. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a persuasive letter tomorrow. Okay, so uh, the question is, should animals be kept in captivity? Sort of links from the, the black hat and how the boy kept them in little cages. Now, I've written a couple of bullet points here for animals in captivity and against animals in captivity. Your job is to do a bit of research um, because researching facts will help you build an opinion. And when you come to writing your persuasive argument, think about those facts. Now you can either side completely on animals in captivity, you can completely side against captivity. You can also find a middle ground and you could decide that it's okay in some cases and okay in other cases, um, but you need to research that. So have a look at some websites, have a look on the BBC, have a look at um, anything that isn't going to try and uh, persuade you. Okay, so you want to look at independent things. So if you go to say a zoo's website, they're obviously going to show you how amazing things are. Even if you go to a terrible zoo's website, they're going to tell you how amazing the life of the animals is. Okay, so have a look at the captivity part, different parts of the world maybe, you could focus on England. Then also have a look at what happens in the wild. Okay, have a look in uh, Africa, have a look in different countries, for example in Borneo and in Indonesia. Uh, the habitat of these animals are getting absolutely decimated. And you can also think of the human impact. Now, in Indonesia, for example, people are cutting down the rainforest because they sell the wood and they're making money. Without this money, they wouldn't be able to feed their families. So it's not as if they're doing it just to sort of kill the animals. But equally, is there something that we can do in the Western world, because we are pretty rich, to maybe help and support this this sort of thing. Same in Brazil, Amazon rainforest, um, Africa, poaching, okay? Is it okay to keep an animal like a rhino in captivity to prevent its horn from being, from it being killed and its horn being taken um, before the horn is sold? So you need to look into that, okay? And then talk to your parents as well because they'll have an opinion Get as many ideas as you can, because the more facts and the more ideas and the more ideas you get from different people and different things, it will help you build your opinion. OK, and that's the important thing, being able to come to a conclusion yourself based on the facts that you know. OK, now you might change your opinion throughout. You might change your opinion throughout your lifetime. It's, you know, that's totally up to you, but it's important to find out facts which you can use. Um, also with the facts, if you can get some quotes from leading experts, David Attenborough, someone like that, you can watch uh, Blue Planet or any of those types of programs on the BBC if you can, because they're really great. It tells you about global warming as well. Now, do we need to keep creatures to prevent them from being made extinct by global warming? So there's lots of questions that you can ask. So it's up to you how you want to go about it. All right. But... Enjoy, enjoy the research, and I look forward to showing you an example of how to create this argument tomorrow. Okay, take it easy, guys.